Okay, let, 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 yeah. Let's get into tonight's video of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, but bitch, before we get into this episode, bitch, we gonna need to recap of what happened last week because, first of all, last week, too much happened for me. Two, I was damn near deathly damn tired from work, and that's why these reviews haven't been coming out or haven't been coming out at all late. I just been literally sitting down on that bed. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the review. We gonna do this. Two seconds in, I'm dead ass sleep or getting out the shower, dead ass sleep. So I'm like, and then you know I did a little. I, I don't know. I was feeling myself. I was feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling myself. Let me hear ratchet. Okay, let me stop. But anyway, but yeah, I was feeling myself a little day, a little today. You know, new ring. Okay, I'm feeling myself. You know, new glasses. You know, so I decided. You know, it was professional Monday, so I decided to dress up a little bit. I guess you can't see my whole wardrobe, but you're seeing a couple of pictures because I'm gonna. Uh, I took some pictures, you know, on this white wall in which I'm gonna edit and you know do my thing and you know incorporate into the look of my video because I don't want to be just a clear video of me speaking. So, you're going to see my new ending, uh, my new ending credits, and you're going to see the whole intro of how my video is going to look, because I have my pictures plastic everywhere, my brand plastic all over the video. So, I'm going to decorate that, you know, trying to be a little bit more professional, and plus, I got some for y'all, I just got a couple, a, a big announcement for me, a, a, life, a couple of life changes. So I'm gonna make a separate video and we're gonna discuss it. But anyway, we're gonna get into this video. Okay? But recap of last week. I wanna know how in the hell uh Miles girlfriend did not know the motherfucker was gay. Like, how the hell did you not know he was gay? I mean, eyebrows arched. Actions was giving me yes, bitch. Just a little bit with a little bit of trade up in there somewhere. And then, bitch, he the one who approached Milan. Milan didn't approach, approach him. And then the bitch said that, bitch, he was the one seducing niggas. So, he, he, I bet you he was on jacked. So, I'm like, bitch, how ever, even your grandma, your grandma, okay, even your grandma, and she's not even in this generation to even know, or even in his generation to even know the signs to figure out, bitch, if your man is gay or if he... Uh, licking and sticking. I mean, somebody doing something. And is it me? Because I really want to know y'all's opinion. It ain't none of my business, but this is just, every time I watch them, it confuses the hell out of me. I guess because I'm not LGBT, but it, cause it, it confuses the hell out of me. Who doing what in the relationship? Because both of them give me bottom. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I really want to know, like, who doing what? Because it's one minute Miles acting like the dude. And Milan is, so where were you last night? You were still at the bitch's house. And then the next minute, Milan is giving me tattoo dude, rapper. And then, bitch, Miles is the one giving me Blink after blink, like flattering blink, like and eyebrow. I just can't get over his eyebrows. I, and this video, bitch. This video. First of all, this video. I'm on my west coast. <sighs> the 
Bitch, I like big booty hoes. Some of some of that manner. And the girls who was in this video wasn't even all that. I know this is gonna be stereotypical, but bitch, don't all like if even if bitch, don't you know all the baddest females and you can find and one of them? Like who did the promo for the video? Because them. I mean, that video was on, almost on the same letter as throw that boy pussy like, bitch, like, who y'all getting to dance in these videos because the damn show ain't working? Like, what is go what is really going on? But anyway, that ain't none of my business. But anyway, yeah, it's just like the roles switch up. I'm, I'm not saying they're supposed to be, okay, feminine and then masculine. But it's like, it's like very, very confusing. Like. His level of masculinity, and then his level of masculinity, and then it's by like overpowers, you know. It's like, mm -hmm, I, I guess, whatever. But I, the grandma, bitch, the grandma looked like, uh, bitch, I could have told you the motherfucker was gay because I mean, look, his eyebrows look better than yours, he flicks his eyes more than yours, so bitch. How the fuck you know he wasn't having boy pussy? Like he wasn't eating, he wasn't eating the cakes. Like, like he wasn't. Like you thought. Like bitch, no, you thought he was playing games on his phone. No, bitch, he was on Jack and Grinder. Okay, bitch, you thought he was sleeping. All bitch, he ended up taking dick pics and sending them to Milan. The fuck, like bitch, the fuck. Oh, but anyway, like okay. So he came out and everything. Okay, my whole point in doing all that is, bitch, this bitch is literally on the flow, literally pouring her heart out and crying hysterically for the coins, for the chicks, for the chitros, for the moolah, okay, for the Benjamins. And bitch, after you to drop the bone on her, and say, okay, yeah, bitch, I'm gay. I've been sucking dick. Me and Milan been fucking. I mean, we got matching tattoos, bitch. I mean, I mean, me, we got what she thought we was gonna have, bitch. We ain't got that no more. And she's crying, like, bitch, I just found out, bitch, my man left me for another man, bitch. Like, the fuck? And the best line you got is, I gotta go to the goddamn bathroom. I said, you know what, bitch? I got to go to the goddamn bathroom. Bitch, how long you been holding it? Like, I got to go to the bathroom. Bitch, you gonna, you, gonna, you gonna sit here and tell me that, bitch, you fucking Milan. Bitch, you been in my daughter's life, and the best she got for me, bitch, is, you know what? He said, I got to get up and go to the goddamn bed. I said, bitch. I said, you know goddamn what? I said, the best, that's the best you got. I got to go to the bathroom. But I ain't gonna lie, that bitch, I would have pulled that same move too. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you could have gave just a little bit more. But, okay. Um, That's really all I want to talk about. And then, you know, I mean, we have to respect the fact that, bitch, she got, her dude left her for another dude. But he just really didn't just you know, tell her, but, and then again, they weren't even together, but he made it seem like in strong Hong Kong, like, they were going to be together, but, okay, and then he came out to his sisters. I expected everything that came out of their mouth, because guess what, it would, if I, if I was in my long position, it would have came out of my people's mouth too, so, am I mad at them? Hell no. Only thing I would just want him to do, just be a little bit sensitive, because at the end of the day, he was, that is something that you're dealing with, because at the end of the day, you wasn't brought up, you wasn't brought in to a gay lifestyle. You wasn't brought in into something, and these feelings just all of a sudden didn't just, you know, it wasn't there when you were first born. I don't care what y'all believe. I don't believe you came out your mama's womb one and bought pussy. I don't care what the fuck you got to say. I don't care how, it just don't work that way. It, I'm sorry, it just don't. But, um, yeah, so dealing with that, and then, I mean, being a youth leader, and then, yeah, I expected everything that came out of their mouth, and, yeah, I, the things that, how, the moment that they said it, 
how they said it and what they said, I wouldn't have said. I would have been just, you know, a little bit more lenient, a little bit more accepting. And the fact that my brother is pouring out his heart. So, first of all, let me be there because at the end of the day, we know. At, okay, let's get into the situation of being Christian and knowing certain situations. So, being Christians and knowing that situation, my reaction would have been, okay, let me step out of church and let me step out of myself and not make this a moment about me and focus on him and, you know, be there for him, but also let him know, yeah, I don't agree, agree with your lifestyle. Yeah, I don't agree with what you just said to me, but I'm your sister. I'm going to be here. And it is what it is. Okay, we know we don't agree. I don't agree with the lifestyle, but I'm not just going to be down your throat. Oh, you're going to hell. Oh, is this what it is now? Okay, this is what you're doing now. So, you, so you're so you not rolling with Jesus right now. So, you just hate God right now. I'm like, bitch, like, it's not even that motherfucking serious. Like, bitch, if anything, bitch... Take him into the next room. Y'all get down on your knees and y'all pray. I mean, if you gonna do that, I mean, like, Father, I come to you. Like, I think you should have started off with that. And he's literally crying. So at that moment, he's vulnerable. At that moment, he needs Jesus. At that moment, he needs family. At that moment, he needs support. So why make that situation about you? But that was my recap. Let's get into this episode. Hey, what's going on, y'all? You have arrived to the end of this video. Ha, ha, ha. And you thought I was going to end this video when I make sure you, that you subscribe to this channel. Leave your thoughts down below. This is Jake DeRosa, Preach Boy TV. Laughter, realness, and reality. Don't choke, and I advise you, don't drink no water while watching my videos. More content coming your way. Stay tuned. Peace!